this review is a slightly unusual one for me because I'm going to review something and recommend it and I never ever thought I would do. Um, I never thought I'd be extolling the virtues of having a full Amiga service uh, for the price that they charge. However, that's exactly what I've done and I've done it on my Seamaster Professional Chrono. Um, I'm going to give you the story behind it, uh, why I came to have it done by Amiga uh, and just the fantastic job that they've done on it. And really, it turns out to be for a really good price. So let's go through that. So in 2020, I went on holiday and did a lot of diving and snorkeling. And uh, stupidly, because it was losing time, when I corrected the time, I never screwed the crown back in fully. So towards the end of the holiday, the face was steaming up, uh, which I didn't think was too bad a problem. I just thought it would dry out how stupid I was. Um, anyway, got back to the UK, um, round about mid-December, it was losing time and, and I thought, right, okay, it's going to need a full service. So I started contacting people, but because we were still in lockdown, a, a lot of people were saying that they weren't taking any new business on. Um, and then it stopped working uh, late December of 2020. In January, uh, I went into Manchester and I went to the Amiga shops and they were quoting me £650, £700. They'd have to send it off for it to be looked at to see if they could repair it um, under the normal service. It, and it would take at least 13 weeks. So I decided against that and I, I did what I've previously done which is basically, I've gone online, found a watch repairer and sent it off to them. The last time I did that was in 2018. Um, it got a full service and it only cost me £190, I say only, but it was only £190 compared to, I think it was about £600 at the time for Amiga. So I eventually found somebody that was prepared to do it in January. I sent the watch off to them and they called me back a few days later and explained that it was pretty much beyond repair. And these were the photos that they included in the message. And you can see it's basically um, a block of rust. They came back and they said that they wouldn't be able to repair it. It was, it was just beyond repair. However, what they would be able to do would be get hold of um, a secondhand movement and put it in. That secondhand movement would be £900. Um, and so that would be the cost of the repair. I went back to Amiga to find out what the service entailed. Now, Generally, the service entails any parts that will wear, they will replace if they need it. Um, and I didn't think that they would be able to do anything with this watch because it was just beyond it. However, I sent it off. Um, I got a call back from them and they explained that they could do it, £700. Uh, they would also replace the bezel because the bezel fades, which is... Well, I'm presuming that's, that was one of the reasons why they replaced it. The, uh, the bezel fades on these for some reason. And at 19 years old, you could tell that it wasn't the, the same blue as it was originally. Anyway, getting back to the story. I sent it off to them. Uh, I paid an additional £140 for a new glass. And, um, and I got it back. And it is absolutely perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. So they've... they've they must have pretty much replaced the whole of the movement inside. You can tell that from the photos. Uh, they've polished it as well, so all the scratches have been removed from it. The new glass on the front is fantastic. They've done an excellent job. Would I pay £700 again? Absolutely. I mean, I was going to get a second-hand movement fitted by a non-Amiga specialist, uh, and that was going to cost me £900. This has been done. There's a warranty with it, so I can't complain. When I sent it off to them, um, I didn't know whether I was going to be getting it back or not. So I basically just sent it in some uh, bubble wrap and, a, and an envelope. When they returned it to me, they returned it in this Amiga case, which obviously not quite up to the standard of the original Amiga box. But I just thought it was a really nice touch to return the watch in that. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's touches like that that make you feel that you're a valued customer. So even though you've paid the price, I mean, people do it with Apple. They know that they're paying over the odds, um, but they're happy with the service that they get and they're happy with the product that they get. So I, I do understand it. Uh, the price was considerably more than I'd paid in uh, 2018, so 190 against um, 700. However, one of the reasons uh, that there was water ingress in the first place, apart from my stupidity, 
was the fact that it was losing time. Uh, it shouldn't really have been losing time. I know you're supposed to service it every year to two years, but it was losing a lot of time. And the other thing as well, the second hand, uh, within a month of getting it back from that £190 service, the second hand, it was off centre by uh, a second, so it never came to the top. Um, yeah, that annoyed me. So all in all, do I recommend the Amiga Genuine Service? Yes, I do. Really unfortunate about the 13 week wait. Uh, and I know that there are service centers in the UK. So I don't know whether this was sent off back to Switzerland or not, but that was the time that I was quoted originally anyway. But certainly if you've got a timepiece that you value, and this is my everyday watch, it's not a dress watch that I just get out for special occasions. It's the watch that I wear every day and I depend on it. And if that's the case with you, it may sound like a lot of money, but it's actually value for money because now, I've got my watch back and it's in pristine condition. And what I had previously was just a, um, a nice stainless steel bracelet that had a block of rust inside it. So yes, I recommend the Amiga full service. So you can see here that they've brushed all the stainless steel so there's no scratches in it. However, I have been wearing it for a couple of weeks so there might be the odd scratch on there if you, if you look closely. It's got the replacement bezel on it, so it's got the true blue that it was when I bought it originally 19 years ago. But the two most important things are, I've now got my Pride and Joy watch back working perfectly, and it's not a block of rust. And obviously everything works perfectly on it. And this is part of the original receipt. You can see that I had it done on the 24th of the 7th, 2018. So it was just over two years after that, that uh, it was losing time quite a lot, um, obviously, which then led to the, the crown not being closed properly. Um, so this is a hundred and ninety pounds then for a, a, what they called a full service. This time when I was looking from one of the similar companies, they were charging £300. You didn't get the polish on the steel for that neither. So when you take everything into consideration, £700, £300, uh, and for the job that they did, really, really good. So here we've got the two cases. So obviously this is the original, very nice. It comes also in a box with all the paperwork with it and the authentication for the chronograph, etc. And this is the one that they sent it back in. And I know, I know that it's not much, but it really, it made the difference or it helped to make the difference into to why I'm recommending uh, the Amiga service.